The new Red Dead Online update is here and with this update we do get an Outlaw Pass which includes 100 ranks. And for those of you that have been on the channel for quite a while, you'll know that I go through this Outlaw Pass incredibly quickly. And that is because I stack up as many collector sets before when the Outlaw Pass is released, I buy into it and sell the sets. Now on day one of the release there were some problems, unfortunately the Outlaw Pass was capped at one rank and many players which also include me weren't even able to sell their sets to even get XP. Things aren't quite fixed but I did find a way around it and now I'm going to be going through the Outlaw Pass showing you absolutely everything and also telling you whether or not you should actually buy into this. Before I do get into the video if you do want to see me streaming this game live then there is a link in the description down below. That link will take you over to the Twitch channel, head over to there, drop a follow and you'll be notified the next time I go live. And if you further want to support the channel as well as just having some entertainment, I have put together my own game which took me over a year to develop. This this game is now available on the Android Play Store and unfortunately if you are on iOS it isn't on the App Store. It's just way too difficult to actually push it and publish it to that when I haven't got the equipment with me. But if you are on Android and you're looking at screen right now and looking at the game and thinking that it could be something quite interesting, quite enjoyable, then there is a link to that also in the description down below and it is free for you to download. Getting back into the video, just like this update as well as the previous updates that we've had, Rockstar have released an Outlaw Pass and this comes in two different parts. Straight away, as soon as you log on to Red Dead Online, you'll be automatically enrolled with the Wheeler Rawson & Co Club. This is the free version of the pass. You won't get as many rewards, but you will still get some stuff. The Outlaw Pass is what you have to pay for and this will cost 40 gold bars. For those of you that are new and not sure how this works, you can actually rank all the way up to rank 100 with the Wheeler Rawson & Co Club without buying into the Outlaw Pass. Once you get to rank 100, you can then buy into the Outlaw Pass and it will automatically cross over. You don't have to start all the way back from zero to rank all the way up to rank 100 again. So whatever rank you are within the Wheeler Rawson & Co Club, as soon as you buy the Outlaw Pass, that will convert over unlocking every single reward that you are able to get before that rank. The reason that I completed this incredibly quickly is because every time before an update, I stack up on as many sets as possible and sell those sets once the Outlaw passes out. I did the exact same thing this time, except there were a few issues. The game was broken on day one. It has got a little bit better, but it still isn't fixed. Unfortunately, right now, if you go and sell sets to Madame Lazar or even go to the post office, you can't actually just spam A and sell one set of that category. You actually have to go back and forth, back and forth. And I don't know why, but it seems to work. It's just incredibly problematic. But so has this whole update. So this Outlaw Pass costs 40 gold bars and it will give you 100 ranks. The good thing about this is if you progress through this Outlaw Pass, you'll get a lot of the gold back. In fact, if you do go and complete this Outlaw Pass between now and the 7th of December, you'll get all the gold back plus maybe an extra gold bar to so actually make profit on it. When going through this, there are 10 ranks that will give you free gold bars as a reward. So that equals 30 gold bars. At rank 94, you'll also get a treasure map. So that will put you at around 31 gold bars. And Rockstar have announced that if you complete the Outlaw Pass before the 7th of December, you'll get an extra 10 ranks on top. So that should take you up to around 41 gold bars. So if you do complete it quickly, you're actually getting paid just to get rewards. So with that, it is worth going through. When going through some of the rewards that you can get, there are a lot of XP bonuses. There's a lot of ones that just give you money, maybe some ingredients, maybe even give you some goods for the trader business. But there are some ones that do hugely benefit you. And these are the ones that have caught my eye. At rank two, you can get efficient cooking. This is where you can learn the skill to cook multiple cuts of meat at the exact same time. And I have tested this, it does work and it does speed things up quite a bit. Instead of being able to go over to your camp or even the wilderness camp and just trying to cook one meat every two to three seconds, you can now cook three meats every two to three seconds. Still means you have to put some time into actually cooking, but this does speed things up quite a bit. At rank 38, we have the only mask that is part of the Outlaw Pass. This is the Iron Tooth Mask. Personally, I'm always down for masks. I don't know what it is. I really like collecting these for my character, 
but I also really like collecting them for my horses. And unfortunately with this pass, there's no horse mask, but there is this mask and it does look like a pretty decent mask. It doesn't change any features. You can't do something with this mask that you weren't able to do before, but it just looks nice. At rank 43, you do have an ammo pouch upgrade. This is for your shotgun. This allows you to store more ammunition in your ammo pouch if you're going to be carrying anything to do with your shotgun. And there is also another couple of these because at rank 60, you can get an ammo pouch for your rifle. And also at rank 84, you can get an ammo pouch upgrade for your pistol. This is very, very small stuff, but you don't actually realize how much you would need this and how much you would use it until you actually start a completely fresh account. So whenever there's a pouch upgrade, I'm always going to be trying to get it even if it is a weapon that I don't really use too much. So for the pistol, I don't really use it that often, but I know that once it does come around to me actually starting to progress the awards and trying to get kills with a pistol, I know I have more ammo there, which just saves me a bit more time. At rank 67, you have the Washwood Fur Coat. This is only in here because it looks incredibly nice. It doesn't really change any features, but it is a pretty good cosmetic, which you can put on your character. And this is something that I'm definitely going to be using on my character. At rank 90, you have the biggest talking point of this whole Outlaw Pass, and this is the Red Husky. We have actually had a Husky before. I believe it was in Outlaw Pass 1. But the Husky is now back, except it's got a different coat. The only downside to this is unfortunately if you already have a dog at your camp you can't actually just add this dog to your camp as well to have multiple dogs you actually have to replace the dog that you currently have with this dog which is the disappointing part of this because i would have been able to have two different types of huskies at my camp but now i just can't at rank 97 you have another useful skill and that is being able to fast travel from your wilderness camp the wilderness camp came with the naturalist update and i have used it a lot now that there's this skill as well as being able to cook multiple meats at the exact same time i'm going to use it a whole lot more because it's so much quicker than actually fast traveling or even just riding all the way back to my normal camp might as well just call in the wilderness camp and then finally at max rank rank 100 you can get the estevez gun belt and also holster you can get the broken hoof buckle and also you get arthur's winter coat which is called the mormon all of these are very nice cosmetics that have because there's so many different rewards to unlock they all go in different places to claim the gold money discounts and bonuses you will need to go to the benefits tab and select offers and rewards and claim what you want to claim this is where you'll find all the discounts all the gold all the money and all the bonuses golden money can easily be claimed within this menu whereas the discounts and bonuses you would actually have to go to the shop and then select offers and rewards in where you can get a bonus or even a discount on that item packages such as ammo collectibles ingredients can be found at the post office or lockbox just go over to there and just collect deliveries it's as easy as that and then for the skills such as fast travel as well as cooking multiple meats at the same time you'll have to go into your satchel look on the skill pages and then you will have to read them as soon as you read them it will then become available to you to actually do when you go to the wilderness camp but this is absolutely everything with the outlaw pass and it brings us to the final point after all of that is it worth going into and i know a lot of fans are very disappointed with this update right now it's had a lot of problems with release and even if those problems didn't occur you still have the lack of content from this update which fans just aren't happy with but if you are someone that is still sticking around to play this game because you enjoy it this outlaw pass is actually worth it as already mentioned if you complete this outlaw pass between now and the 7th of december you'll get an extra 10 gold bars on top which would actually mean that you'll profit from gold if you bought into this and then on top of that you'll get a whole bunch of money and on top of that you'll get every single one of these rewards whether it be skills that you can actually use within the game or whether it be cosmetics where you can customize your character but even if you're a player that's watching this video after the 7th of december it is still worth it because it costs 40 gold bars to buy into and you get 31 gold bars back from all the gold bonuses plus the treasure map you're then looking at this costing nine gold bars and even though everyone right now is saying that rockstar have changed up certain features such as daily challenges and also increase some of the prices for cosmetics within the bounty hunter to be incredibly crazy prices players are saying that rockstar are just doing it for the money this still ends up being a very good deal nine gold bars for all of these different cosmetic items plus on top of that you actually have some valuable skills which is the first time this has happened with any outlaw pass that we've had it does make sense for you to buy into it now if you're a player that is not sitting on too many gold bars as of right now then you do have time to get that gold 
the Wheeler Rules and Co Club is something that you can enter for free. And once you get to a certain rank or you're ready to buy into the Outlaw Pass, your rank will convert over. And because this Outlaw Pass doesn't expire until the 31st of May, you have just under six months to complete it, which should be more than enough time for you to get gold, even though Rockstar have completely broken daily challenges. But anyway, that is absolutely everything with the Outlaw Pass. This is how much it costs, how many ranks, some of the highlighted items within it, and whether or not you should buy into it. But all of this is just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below. Is this something that you're still going to be buying into and are you going to be progressing through it? Or has this update put you off so much that you don't even see the point of progressing through this outlaw pass because of the lack of content and the enjoyment of this game has just gone? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you do want to play a game that does have a bit more content, then I have released my own game. You are seeing the gameplay trailer on screen right now. And if it looks of something of interest to you, then there is a link in the description down below which will take you over to the android play store i promise i'm not trying to get any of your money this is a free to download game all i ask is that you tell me your opinion whether it be good or bad by writing a review but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to so see ya